Spoiler oh. alert. Because we were about That's to talk it. about X Men '97. It's time to have some fun. You have been warned. Previously on X Men. So let's talk about X Men '97. Let's talk about episode oh, okay. one. So how do uh, we feel about Professor X not being there? Um. Well, the way 96 ended, we kind of pretty much thought that, you know, he may or may not be here or whatever. So mm -hmm. that was a little sad. And they definitely was able to put the sadness up in there. One oh. thing I like about shows is uh, one thing I like about this show altogether is that it's going to make you feel the feels. Oh, so, yeah, I definitely um, did that. Oh, definitely. I, definitely. And that's one thing I always like about any show. Like, if I don't feel anything from it, I'm not going to watch it. Sorry. I don't care how popular it is. Mm -hmm. I don't care who is watching it. If it's not making me feel, I'm not going to watch it. Uh, I'm trying to think of details because I feel like we've done watch episode one through six all together, like about three times back to back now. But I can't yeah. like pinpoint a detail right now. Okay, so uh, let's break this down in relationships then. Okay, go ahead. What, what did you think about Jean Grey and Madeline? Okay, Jean coming in. First of all, Jean coming in and fainting. Chef's kiss. We needed that. <laughs> we needed that. Um, Jean Grey and Madeline Pryor. I completely forgot about this uh, storyline, but they was like, that ain't Jean as soon as she came across the screen. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? 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 What are you yeah. talking about? Beast, right? He was the first one to call it out. He was like, Beast "Hold was on, wait a minute, one. let's think about this." Like, Can we? She is different. <laughs> Hold on. Can we just talk about Beast? And my man Beast has no filter. He don't care. Yeah, right. He's a beast. No, still, he is a, a super intelligent man. First and foremost, exactly. my man is like. I will say this is something new. They kind of added, like we, there was a hint of it in the original run, but they really went full force with this. Like I feel like they're bringing being, some of his comic book, uh, yeah, uh, his comic book personality into the character. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I, I love Beast. I, I like his personality oh, yeah. right now because he's like, yep. hey, hello, uh, this this mother ain't real, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who y'all brought into this lab, but this ain't her. I mean, my Yo, man was exactly. just sitting there like, uh-oh. Mm. Um, I got news. I got news. I was very excited to see my favorites. Uh, I think I've already said it on, well, not on this show yet, but definitely on the BK Space show. A lot of time that, uh, you know, my three faves, the top three for me, Gambit, Jubilee, and Storm all in one episode. So that made me very yes. happy. Yes. Yeah. Um, what about Jubilee? How do y'all feel about Jubilee? Oh, me personally, I like it. I still love her. She, she, I still was love her. she was great. She was great. She was young when she started. And I like that they're appreciating the fact that she's older. We're older too, right? I think mm -hmm. they made her 18 years old here. Like yeah, 18, I think she just turned 18, something. right? Right. So they made her old. She's and you see life. in the episode, I think episode two or three, they she has you know feelings and stuff. She she's an older mm. girl now. She, you know she's not a girl, but not yet a woman. Um, yeah. But, <laughs> shout out Britney Spears, MVP. kind of. Shout out Britney Spears, kind of. Um, <laughs> well, I'm a student paying across the room, boy. <laughs> but but I like the fact that they're being mature with it. You know, mm -hmm. they're not candy coating anything. Like yeah, she got feelings. She's confused, right? She wants to see what her life was like away from the X Men, but she needs the X Men. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I do like I do like what they did. Yeah, exactly. The oh, the only family that didn't um turn her away, you know. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We we're yes. gonna go down the list. Morph. What what do you think about morph? Well, as far as Jubilee goes, I absolutely love her. I like the that they're incorporating. I her definitely name was still cracking in up. There, so I'm good. I definitely was cracking up because I was like, why is Professor X walking? And then oh, I you said, thought Morph was Professor Oh, yeah. When, yeah. I said, oh, oh yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, I was like, oh, hey, yeah, he that is Morph. He played too much. Morph played too no, much. No, yeah, dude. He, too much. he do play he too, play much. too much. He do when, play when he entirely. When you see Wolverine in the shower, though? Yeah. Morph was like, hey, now. Dude, <laughs> wait a minute. My God. Wait a minute, Morph. 
Me Which personally, I like more. I like the I character like that they're doing with him too. Because we mm-hmm. all have friends like this. We all have people in our circle that are like this, you know? So that makes it, again, X-Men, it makes it more relatable, more real, mm-hmm. right? You know now, the f- that he does is too much. Yes, it yeah. is it, a lot. Like, yeah, when, he's, but ta- it makes when he's trying to talk to Logan and he switches off to being Gene, like, bro, don't mess with his feelings. Come on now. You know Hold up. <laughs> Hold on. I got I got thoughts on that one. I got thoughts on that one. Okay. Okay, okay. what's up? After we seen Morph I ain't Wolverine in the shower. I think it's more there. I Stop. think that's not no Wolverine. Please. Wolverine didn't really react in the way you would think a person that just seen that will react. <laughs> so it wasn't like get off me, in. man. Well, Wolverine um has bisexual moments in the comics. I'm hip because I um they got me hip about the throttle. So yeah, there's a throttle <laughs> there with with uh Gene, Cyclops, Gene and Wolverine. And so oh yeah, right, right. So right. I, could see, I can see I can see Morph being like, Hey, I can be your gene if you need me to <laughs> from time to time. Oh, he definitely so, said it. So do you think that that changes too? He's mm. morph, why wouldn't it? Yeah, right, yeah. Morph is probably like one of the best shapeshifters. Uh, Dude, I mean, like Mystique is great. Mystique is great, but more he gets powers with his shape shift. So yes, yes, because he was able to rip, right. uh, to stay Archangel when they were flying. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, you so, know what? I take that back. They both have pros and cons because Mystique can change herself on a molecular level. She can, she can. Become, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, she can either she can even become a man and impregnate people. So. Oh, I, I think that. I remember hearing about that. There y'all go. There I y'all go. That's the that. special thing about Mystique. That's wild. See, um, That's scandalous. No, but I, I love the happened? character more. What else that Morph happened? Was, was we we're doing first three episodes. We're doing first three episodes. Huh. And then we're going to do last three episodes. Okay, well, but Jess, huh, Jess, what are you saying about Morph? Oh, I said I thought he was a great character. And I like that he was. they brought him back from the original. Because they brought him back for the one... Uh, storyline with Mr. Sinister, and then they kind of yeah. didn't bring him back ever again. Yeah, we, so I we like saw, that they kept him. We saw Dreggy Morph, right? And yes. now he's not Dreggy Morph. It, it's oh, always good okay. to see your friends get okay. cleaned up, right? Yeah. It's always good to see your friends clean up. <laughs> it's always good to see your friends get Wait, cleaned up. Before we go further, y'all did watch yesterday, right? No, we didn't. I saw it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, we, we, we're, we're, we watched, we're we watched this when it premiered. We watch it. We yeah. watch. We're all watching it. When we're, okay. Okay. Just making okay. sure we're all excited. Oh yeah. So yeah. before we move yeah. on from Morph, before we move on from Morph, I think the biggest moment for Morph was when he, episode one, where Charles was talking to his children, and he said, "Hey, Morph, you're X Men, man. Like you're you're yes. a part of the family, man. That that moment, I was like, that you was go, it. Morph. You yep, win that again. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I almost cried when Storm got hit with that that beam. Mm, oh man! Oh. Knowing what I, I know about Storm, it. I didn't want it to happen. Knowing what I know about Storm, oh, no, but I, I think it had to, to happen. That to happen. happen, you know. And then she had to, to go happen. find herself. She left the X Men. She had to yeah. find herself. She had to find herself. I'm glad. So she the found best that. moment, the best moment from the show so far for me, and it's listen. When I say this, this is like saying <laughs> the best moment from one A to because there's moments all over the show that's just amazing. But mm-hmm. one of my best moments is when Cyclops, when they were fighting uh, FOH in that uh, building, when you know, when uh, they had to go out the uh, old buddy Sunspot. Sunspot. Um, yeah. When, <laughs> when uh, he was like, oh, Cyclops was like, oh, I lost my glasses. What am I going to do? Yes, and then he was like, "Psych!" Oh my yes. God. Yes. <laughs> and then my number two favorite moment: Storm, give him the forecast. Oh, my man is talking yeah. mad cash right oh, now. Oh my God, level threat! Oh, she man. coming in with that forecast, ain't she? Ooh. Baby, when he said that, I was standing, I was screaming. Right, right. Ain't too many moments <clears throat> on TV that make me feel that way, but definitely that was the moment. But but they but X Men they always do that you know what I'm saying they they pull your emotions in, into something good and something bad when the powers come out, I mean yeah like all those points that you guys are talking about with Storm and Cyclops, 
the one for me that I thought that was pretty cool is like when they're when the um <clears throat> the blackbird got destroyed and everybody's getting rescued except for Cyclops, Ooh. right? But Cyclops Ooh. is like, "Don't worry, I'm good," and he uses that blast to break his fall. That's from the game. Mm. That's yeah. from the uh, arcade mm. game, right? And then oh, it goes to, right there, <clears throat> right there. They show people who never thought Cyclops was badass. He was badass in that moment, you know. Nice to <clears throat> stupid movies. Yeah. Because how many people? How many people did you see them. that didn't need? How many people in Marvel saw, did that scene? Captain America did that scene. Iron Man did that scene, and Cyclops did that scene. And you know what's crazy about this whole the people how they have this uh, terrible view of Cyclops? It's just like in Civil War when Spider Man and and this is just in the commercial when Spider Man caught Winter Soldier's arm. And he was just like, oh, you got a metal on. Everybody was like, Spider-Man's not that strong. Like, yes, have y'all is. not been paying attention? Like, even in the cartoon, this yeah. man. In the cartoon. Is... Even in the cartoon, they don't pay attention. They there really are two did. superheroes that pull their, their punches. Spider-Man and Superman are like the two known. <laughs> they yes. they definitely hold Cyclops a lot in the uh, in the movies, for sure. That's probably mm. one of them. That was probably one of the, my biggest... Huh. One of them. One of the biggest. <laughs> yes. No, I'm with you. They made him look like a side character and a side man. Yes. Yes. You know, yes. in the he's movie. He's on the front line. And he's on the yeah. front line. Exactly. He's the leader at this point. Meanwhile, he like the second best X-Men. Yeah. After Storm. I'm sorry. It's always yep. Storm number one for me. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, I'm wait, no. Maybe. Storm is the oh, strongest wait. one out of, out of everybody. That's why, that's why they have to take... That's why in the story they had to take away her powers. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was like, they had yeah. to remove Storm because yeah. fights over uh-huh. Storm's death. Exactly. There would be none of this Genosha stuff if Storm was there. None of those sentences, yeah. you know. Yeah. At I least agree. it wouldn't have been as bad. Oh, it wouldn't be as bad. No, it wouldn't be as bad. But I agree. Speaking okay, so hold on. Before we get to Genosha, <laughs> what is everybody feeling about Wolverine and um? Loving old Gene like this because I mean the man kissed Gene. It was it was the kissing. Oh, I'm Gene sorry, Ref- reframe said. reframe that. Gene kissed him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Gene kissed mm-hmm. him, mm-hmm. and she getting mad at Scott for cheating on her in the brain. Like, what's going on here? Hold on. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Hold on. But think about how strong the mental is when they're when you're messing with a psychic of that level. Yeah, like, no facts. Are you like yes, that's true. Right? <laughs> that's, oh that's you. You pretty much right there, astral plane in it. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I yeah. mean, come on, man. That, that, that's, that's catching somebody on a different type of four K. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. And then he gonna lie that's about wild. it. We're just yeah, we're just gonna, having yeah. discussions. You liar! <laughs> you liar! We know it was more than that. You lie. Cyclops, you my guy, but you lying you. right now. And then and what's her name? Emma Frost, right? And Fro- Emma yeah, she Frost. caught it. She, she, was, she was there, too. She was there. Listen, listen, what I know about the comics and Emma Frost like that, I'm almost sure Emma was probably in the brain, too. I'm going to say that she now. Was, she I'm was calling it now. The wall, you know what I'm saying? Listening to Emma. Well, I'm calling it now. Emma was, was in it. Emma was in it, too. I'm just waiting on it to come out. Oh, no, no, no. We skipped the part. How about when Magneto showed up? He was like, "Y'all, my n- now." Like, oh my god! <laughs> I had to say it, BK. I had to say it. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> this is it's going I'm gonna let it it's rock. Gonna... I'm gonna let that one rock because it's true. And, and it's you know, true. the thing is, like, he said it so it's prideful. He the did. way his stance was, he was so like, "You're mine so now." He was like, so y'all telling me y'all didn't see this, see this will this entire time. This big old book <laughs> this, right here. This right here. Y'all didn't That's see just this sitting on his desk. Time. So Charles didn't tell um, y'all, he said when he died for me to come over here and get this book. The very next episode. <laughs> That's how he was like, right. yo. Y'all didn't know? And then very he was talking, episode. look, look, that fight when he hit him to me, my ex, man, I was like, oh, he got to get his ass. Yeah. Yep. Cyclops was like, mm-mm. mm-mm yep. bro. Mm-mm. That's my line. Yep. Yep. No, um, speaking of Magnus, Magneto and Rogue. The, come on. 
Now, the for those that don't know, if you ain't watched, if you ain't watched, Rogue and Gambit is destined to be together. We Destiny. all know this. It's, it's, it's gotta happen. That's Rogue and the monkey Juliet, wrench. You know? The monkey wrench was super old man Magnus coming in here. You know what he say? And, he and say? pulling rank on my man Gambit. What did he say? You say what did he say? I don't know what he said. Oh, oh, he did pull rank though. Yeah, he did. <laughs> my man pulled rank. He was like, "Hey, hey, listen. I know you with him, but he can't touch you like I can. Like literally, yes. he can't. Like, he listen. Can I? Can I? Can I? Um, go on a little tangent here. Go yeah. ahead. You you all seen House Party two, right? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have never seen that movie. You never. You never seen House. I'm kidding. I'm black. Oh, oh, man. Man. I was, oh man, I was. <laughs> I'm black <laughs> over the age of thirty. Like, I've seen House Party okay, too. Okay, okay. I have. I mean, I knew the question I've seen yes, all of them at this point. Even the IMX version, which I don't want to talk about, but um, even the I, it don't exist. But even that one too. I didn't but see the, the last one. Though. In House Party Two, where um, uh, Tisha Campbell's character goes to college, mm-hmm. and she kind of falls in love with the older, um, the like the old, like he's like a not a dean. What is he? He's like a dean's assistant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, that's basically what's going on between Gambit, Magneto, and Storm and uh, Grog. Factuals, because Factuals. there's things that he could show her that could that kid couldn't do, right? Magneto and his talk. I can show you the you world. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I can do things he could never do. I can do things he can never do. <laughs> Right, the way, the way he look at you, he <laughs> never look at you the way I look at you. That you see man how I touch on you like this, your girl? man won't do the things your man won't do. I do them for you. No, that he's like that jagged ass song. I can't love you like mm. I love you, baby girl. You know it's true. You Come on, that. are we are we making the Magneto playlist right now? Because I think <laughs> that's what just happened. <laughs> We are. <laughs> Yo, we you want to be with the man and do the things so, to you like, come on, that's Magneto. <laughs> so, that so after Magneto. after we find out that Rogue and Magneto had a thing going on, me and Mrs. Jones, you know, um, <laughs> we find out that the Gambit was outside the door. Oh, I don't know if he was listening, <laughs> but y'all don't know how much that hurt my heart. Y'all don't know how much that hurt me. I was like, mm. Ooh, man. I thought it was gonna bust through the door, honestly. But I'm he was like, mm, you, I'm gonna play my role. Can take another. He ain't no official yet. Fight Magneto. He was gonna fight Magneto. Yeah. Listen, and if, the card that he Vegeta, dropped was the queen. The card that he dropped was the queen. If Vegeta slapped <laughs> beers after he slapped Boma, ooh, ooh, Gambit could have fought for his woman. That's all I'm saying. He could have. But he was like, I'm going to fall back because, you know, players, you know, game <laughs> recognized game. <laughs> you know, we haven't mentioned one thing about X-Men 97. The fact that Y'all Rose and the- Magneto was in that room for 10 hours. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> <ahead. Go ahead. laughs> and was? And what you doing for 10 hours? Huh? You know. Try, listen, Magneto can bend things. That's what he's trying to show her. You know what I'm saying? So- <laughs> he was drinking. Bro. He was drinking. <laughs> Oh my bad. <laughs> um, one thing we haven't talked about is that a lot of the voice actors came back too. Yeah, yeah. Yep. except for Gambit, yep. he except is coming Gambit. back, but he's just not Gambit. He coming back okay. with another character. And the um the actress that played so, uh, Jubilee too decided to step aside because she aside. wanted to be. I think she's uh, playing another role too. She played older Jubilee, like I know we talked about. Um, I know she's yeah. playing another role, but. Yeah, she says like this should be for an Asian American. I like that. You know, what I'm saying? yeah, I like that. I'm with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm with that. it. I'm here for that. I, I think somebody else passed away. Uh, was it? I don't think is it Wolverine character. No, he's that's the no, OG. he's still there. He's he's the one that's voicing. Uh, is Logan. it Beast? Somebody no, Beast is back too. Away. Somebody's character did pass away, but I cannot pinpoint who. I know it ain't not, Rogue. Not Bishop. Is I think that's the same guy. Is it Cyclops? I can't, I can't think. It, oh, it might be. It's possible. No, but that's we just... went down a. We went. Down oh, wait a minute! You might be right. I think it might be, or he just he just didn't want to come back. 
I know Beast character was talking about not coming back at one point. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? I think okay. it was Beast guy. I, you know what? It's so many different stories. Hey, you want to know one cool thing about this? The only mandate that Kevin Feige supposedly only made was that they just had to bring the original theme song back. <laughs> if I if I said the N word, Kevin Feige, you my I can't say it. <laughs> you know, you know Kevin. You know Kev. Was there was there was a little bit of issue before not getting the uh, the rights? Mm-hmm. Oh, I think there was because then somebody yeah, it was a huge say, well somebody came out X-Men and said that they period. copied it. X Men period was a huge oh, thing. Oh, okay. X Men period was a whole huge rights fight, but okay, them okay. definitely getting that in, that intro song was an even bigger fight. So really, I okay. know they had to pay a good penny for that. But listen, the merchandise that's about to come out for this. Oh man, Everything I'm trying to buy the storm shirt. Out after. I need a yep. storm shirt. The storm, so, the gambit. The, oh, Genosha, what's, right? Yeah, that, that, can we talk about Genosha? Let's get because we got to end this. Oh, We've been on here for all we asked a question hours. about Jean Grey and Madeline Pryor. Um, my two cents is that it's like that song with Usher and R. Kelly, same girl, yo, same girl. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Sure. No, no, we about to do a, a collab on a, a playlist <laughs> on Spotify for real. <laughs> the X Men '97. I might have to have you come over to get you. We'll make a. This will be the sweaty session. We come up with a playlist for X Men, the X Men relationships. We, we coming. We should. Tell tell okay. me when. We I'll tell y'all that. Well, we we'll get a date. We'll get a date together for sure. Let's do it. All right. So Genosha. Um, Genosha. Child, let me tell you, so far this year, that's probably the saddest episode I ever seen on TV ever, like this whole year. Mm-hmm. Nothing Yo. has tugged me and got me that emotional. As much as I'm year. mad at Magnus for, for stealing uh, Gambit's girl like that, the moment he was like, y'all stay back, uh, you know, it's a wrap mm-hmm. for me. Don't come over here. I was like... <laughs> But so is bad. it a true rap? Was it a true rap it's from him? I don't know. Uh, okay. Because all right, so if you didn't notice, Gambit was not spoiler in the in the intro. The next mm-hmm. episode, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We know I can't Gambit remember was... whether or not Magneto was in there. No, he wasn't. He was. He used to be first, and then Cyclops. It's first, Cyclops yeah. now. It's Cyclops first. It might be. It's, I don't know. It's... But they can always add them back. They can always add them back. Because episode six. <laughs> <laughs> what about what else happened on Genosha that was so other than the slaughter everything, of so many fan everything. favorites? I mean, everything in Genosha. Rogue lost everything. We completely, we completely, okay, so we completely jumped over one huge thing because uh what's the lady name the queen goblin goblin queen what's her real name goblin uh, madeline Pryor. madeline madeline and scott are the parents of cable if you are yeah. watching deadpool and you're oh, not yeah. hip about x-men but you watch deadpool cable mm-hmm. is there those are his parents yep yeah and cyclops is hurt about losing that baby yeah cyclops is real <laughs> to the future my man, went, but, yeah. my man was like don't come in here trying to talk options yeah, Bishop was like, "I'm a holler at y'all. I got you, bro." And you know, and that I like that scene because how many times have you heard about drop dead dads? Cyclops didn't want to be that guy. He did not. You know, he didn't want to be because that of what his dad was mm-hmm. because yeah. of his dad and yeah. the trauma. And that's how it happens for a lot of people. It's like my parent was so ain't nothing that mm-hmm. I don't want to repeat that for my children. Right. And mm-hmm. and you know what? Mm-hmm. And I respect that Cyclops. Yeah, he yes. was hurt. They came in there with the cameras talking about, hey, this is the X Men, and everybody loves you now. He was putting on a strong face in that interview. Mm-hmm. Yes, but then he was like, "How dare you come in my house talking trash about us? Like you right. know who we is? Get up out of here!" No, peace out. Um, the only Rogue person I felt bad Magneto. for that time was Bishop, because that you know that portal's gonna close. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Rogue, Rogue and, and he's Magneto he's there with touch. me, man. I know what I, 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 go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Man, but Rogue lost everybody in Genosha. 
the mutants just found out about it during the interview process because they hit the breaking news and they was watching it. All hell was breaking news loose between Cyclops and Gene at that moment. That's when mm. we found out about him mind uh tripping with Madeline still and possibly yeah. and, and possibly Emma Frost. I'm gonna throw that in the bucket. Um yep. <laughs> yep. Rogue right. is probably the biggest loser out of everything. We also yeah. lost Dazzler. Dazzler. Yes. yes. Um, in the in when they first show up, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was there. Do we know if Madeline actually got X out of here? Because we saw Redhead with being um covered up, but we didn't actually see her face. Everybody else's face we saw. We saw we them. Know. Like we saw we saw Magnus get the X. We saw Gambit get the X. We didn't see her get axed out. We may have seen Magnus get the X. We definitely saw Gambit get that X. Yo, that hurt. That hurt. <sighs> Given the fact that this man lost his girl and then passed, got got murked right after that. Like, yo. How about the day after the episode aired? I, I'm scrolling through Facebook and yep. somebody put a side by side with a uh, Wanda holding Vision. And they both said the same line. I can't fail you. And I, the emotions came oh, right back. The emotions yo. came right back. Oh, they emotions oh, oh. came all the way back. Speaking, one, one thing that a lot of people didn't notice in that episode at the beginning. If you look closely at the sky when it starts, the Watcher is up there looking down. Yes. The Watcher is in this yes. episode. I'm like, yo, what does that mean right now? What is that? Where are we going with that? Where are we yeah, going because the that? they only intervene if it's really tragic. Like it has yeah. to be tragic. So I don't know if I, I forgot. I don't. I can't remember when, but I know it's, something happens. But is it gonna be Jeffrey Wright? Yeah, you said I saw everybody pass away over there. Did you know so? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do over Shut here? Up. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Right now, ah. not what you're doing. Right but, but, you, but you know what? You have something there because it's always funny. Like, do the watchers got to get clearance from somebody to go down there? You know? Yeah, like, they don't uh, really hey explain man, that too. I don't do know that. if you saw about two days ago, That's but there's this thing that happened. We have to there's go. There's stuff going on. There's stuff going on. There's Maybe a, they got to talk to the council lot. of watchers. Yeah. Like, this I think watchers that's what it is. Do they get PTO? Do they have PTO hours to use? Like, Shut up, Jess. Do you not have hey. to watch? Like, what do you do hey, when you're not watching people? You gotta yeah. always watch. I feel like you always gotta watch. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, do we get to eat? Ain't no PTO. Is, is there is there a they lady don't, watcher? They don't have an appetite. They don't have an appetite. <laughs> do he have a lady watcher? Is there a Mrs. Watcher? There's no Mrs. <laughs> right. Like, what do they do in their free time? You know, they don't have free time. Uh, They're I watching all timelines at all yeah. times. <laughs> They ain't got no free time. <laughs> they um, don't exist for them. Sorry. What happened no, on the next episode? Y'all stupid. Y'all stupid. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, sometimes I, I like to hang out. <laughs> I say, listen, I got to pee real quick. I got to use the bathroom, man. Just watch this for like two minutes. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> Watch it. Watch the video. I gotta use the bathroom real quick. You mind watching Earth for like ten seconds? Ten seconds. I'm over here watching the X Men channel right now. <laughs> which Earth? Which Earth dimension is it? Oh uh, right, right. Oh my god. Ninety seven. Ooh. Which one here are we at? Because we ain't that's in six true. That's a good point. You right. You right. Because all depending on the dimension, they might not want to watch it. Oh, that's, that's true. true. You right. I wonder. I wonder if. They are at a future where Krakoa is this. Now, if you're talking about bringing everybody back, if Gambit, not Gambit, if Cable is at a future where Krakoa is this, which is the mutant safe haven in the comic books, if Krakoa is this, that means they have a resurrection program uh, protocol. Maybe, possibly, they can bring them back, but they won't bring them back the same way mm. because they can't because they wouldn't have been backed up by Charles Xavier. That's true. Well, so what happened on the next episode? Episode six. Ooh, episode one. six. We saw we saw Storm frolicking. To... Mm-hmm. We we see Storm frolicking. We see just her left that man back. down there in that hole. <laughs> My man's is down there dying. 
I know, right? There. I was thinking, I, I, I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the same thing. Like, did the demon get him? Like, what's going on? Is he okay? They did he tell, die? They ain't tell us That's nothing. Just, they tell us nothing. Just, the whole time, like, storm. Four with his gone. flashlight, with his one flashlight, his only weapon. <laughs> It's another moment where I actually got up at. I didn't want to spoil it at the beginning when we first started talking about, but this was another moment because, baby, like I said, I almost cried when Storm got hit with by, by that thing. I knew she was mm-hmm. going to get her powers back. I just wanted to see how they was going to go about it. But I love how she stopped having her powers all because basically she stopped believing in herself. Like mm-hmm. she was fighting her own demons. To get right. back into who she is. And I feel like that that just goes into who we are on a day-to-day as humans. Like, sometimes we got to just fight whatever we got to fight to get back to who we are as people. Mm-hmm. And baby, when she came flying out of that thing and that wind started, I was like, yeah. Hey, I was hyped. And then she hit that magical girl transformation, Sailor Moon. Yes. Ooh. Yes. With the long yes. hair. Yep. With the long yep. hair. With the long I was like, hair. Oh, with the black stone, suit. Stone, stone back. Yep. With yep. the black suit. Clean. Clean. I was excited. Hold on. Also, I'm going to tell you why I'm disappointed in Storm. Because after we found out that all she had to do was believe in herself again, it's 1997. As a black man, I know Journey, okay? There's a whole song out that said, Don't Stop Believing. Believe. Okay? <laughs> it got to go on the soundtrack now, by the way. Storm, they gotta go yep. there. how you not Come know on. this? You with Forge right now. I guarantee you Forge played that song for her. You're not yes. telling me. You see where Forge was living at. That's a don't yes, stop believing is. type of house. You know. <laughs> but, but you got to go through certain things. Just because you get the song played doesn't mean it's going to automatically happen. You got to go through it to get through it. You're right. Facts. You're right. I, Facts. Also, I was a look for a second, though. I thought uh, Forge had the... Uh, the book of uh, what is the book? The Doctor Strange book. Oh, book yeah, 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 yeah. The the Doctor. The book of Ashanti. Yeah, the book of Ashanti. There you go. Yeah. Thank you, because I I was about to say why in my head it says I'm saying the book of Vishan, and I forgot Vishan is the black version of Vision on Twitter. Yes. Stop <laughs> saying it. Stop saying it. Stop saying it. Stop saying it. Vishan. Stop saying oh, it. Stop saying it. We don't have to break this episode up in twos. <laughs> it's going to be part two. I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to follow that Twitter account now. <laughs> no, I don't know if it's a Twitter account that actually happens. I just know everybody posts the, uh, <laughs> the photo of Vision with the do-rag thing. on. There's a, yeah, that's that's the one. I might make that's that one. That's Vichon. That's my guy photo. right there. Uh, that's my guy. No, that's but guy. that's what tripped me out too is when they're doing the magic and how similar it was to the Doctor Strange. Mm, like so, so similar. Like everything about it was similar. So I don't know if there's something with that. I I, I hate it. Back. So I think they're pulling again from comic book lore. Um spider mans Spider-Man, you know, they've been connecting him to Mystic, the mystic side of things as well. So his is part mystic. Doctor Strange is part mystic. So I think there's an origin of all magic, and it probably all stems, ironically, from Spider Man's magic. Spider Man is the oldest magic in the universe, I think. At least his is older than Doctor Strange's magic. They just that's new to comics, by the way, like last year sometimes. So if that is the case, by the time we actually see uh, the Spider-Man show, maybe they explain that because Spider-Man is getting the show. Maybe mm-hmm. they dig deeper into the mystical side of his like they do in the comic book because as much as I hate the mystic side of Spider-Man, I, I like the scientific. I just got bit by a spider and I got spider powers. But, you know, the more they connect them all together, the more it's, it ties it's, it's magic. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Which explains the Doctor Strange move and how, why it all kind of went to hell when he tried to erase Peter Parker and things mm-hmm. broke. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. Spider Man's magic is older than Doctor Strange's magic, and it's probably difficult mm-hmm. for it to really work the way it should. Right, right, right. And I don't speculate here, but Marvel, call me if you just need somebody to make up <laughs> some stuff for y'all, because I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. Call him. Oh, um, there is a so, huge part of this episode, though. 
we're you coming back to it. Go ahead, hit it up. You, it. you want me to say it? Yeah, you got it. The man himself, Professor Charles Xavier, mm. has returned. The best part of the episode is Asian. Asian Charles Asian, Xavier. Asian Charles Xavier is back. <laughs> has returned. Asian Charles Xavier is back. You right. Asian descent. <laughs> Charles <laughs> Xavier Lee. I don't think I ever paid attention to it until now either. Like he do look Asian, bruh. He legit do look Asian. I thought that um, man was from. Why, North why shorty the say? Whole time. Why shorty called the whole Milky Way the ghetto? Yeah, that that's why I was like, yeah, the Milky Way ghetto. What, yo? The whole Milky Way. She, she didn't say our planet. She mm-hmm. said our entire galaxy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, what's the, what's the, what's, what's, what's another word for it in space, in the cosmics? In a land far, far away. We's the ghetto children. We's the ghetto. Well, hey, you ever I seen that? Planet. You ever seen we that? We all meme? from the hood now. You ever seen that meme this where like, uh, aliens, like are aliens, aliens are passing by Earth? Aliens are passing by Earth and they, they lock the door. <laughs> they like, Hit that thing they're like, what's mind? that? Oh, that's Earth. Lock the door. Can I? You know, that's the whole thing about comics, though. Why does Earth always center around everything? Yeah, that's because true. we here. Super, Superman shows up. Now everybody else got to show up. Mm-hmm. Who oh, shows up yeah. to the planet? Now everybody else got to show up. Mm-hmm. Like, Science came to the planet. Everybody got yeah. to show up. And then, and then they come over here. They come over here like, your planet's trash. Why are you here then? Huh? Then why are you right. here? Why are you here? What? Like, we over here in this corner of the universe. Everybody. Hanging out by minding our business, being ghetto. <laughs> Obviously, but being but ghetto, you know what? But when, you, when, y'all you show up that, here. when you look back at that scene, when she says that, look at Gladiator because Gladiator was one of the only ones that been to Earth. Because remember, he showed up at Earth during the Phoenix Saga. Yeah, he, he looked at him, he was kind of like, Well, I, I kind of like Earth. <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on, have you had Earth food? Yeah. <laughs> Don't knock it until you try. Have you tried okay. macaroni and cheese? Bears, bears no, like that is right. Have you seen bears, Earth women? Bears have you seen and Earth women? Have you seen what they carry? <laughs> have you? Child. Have you seen? Child, have you seen child. Meg the Stallion? Yeah. <laughs> until you. Oh, hold on, hold on. Meg, this is ninety. This is ninety-seven, know. right? They have you seen like Angela 96? Bassett? Gladiators, like, have you been to the Freak Nick? Yo, <laughs> it's canceled by then. I think it was no. Almost was it canceled, canceled by ninety six? It was almost, almost. Oh, almost, okay. canceled yeah. to like two thousands, right? Canceled. Yeah, I think they canceled like two thousand ninety nine. Because I dare, I definitely remember everybody going to Freak Nick ninety nine. It felt like the biggest thing okay, ever. Because okay. at this point, that's when I started learning that it existed. So I was like, oh no. The party was almost over by then. I know <laughs> they had ruined it already. The galaxy is the ghetto. Why I saw somebody also say earlier. I, this got to be the same page. This got to be the same page that I've been seeing. But then somebody said, Professor Xavier is supposed to be one of the strongest, uh, what is he, telepath? Telekinetic? Uh, yes. No. Yeah, he's telepath. telepath. Yeah, he's a telepath. He's supposed to be one of the strongest te- telepaths. And he got his mind taken over over some cloak cooksy. <laughs> But hold on, speaking that's of good. that's good. That was a good one, speaking right? Good. That, that was, was like, a good like one. That. Why that did was they come up together that. and why did they work? I like that. <laughs> speaking but of Charles did Xavier, get... did he just like he took everybody was like, all right, sit you sit down, sit down. Yes, we got it. That was we about to hash this out. Let me so let dope. me show that you so let good. me show you the way of earth and how we handle situations. The moment I realized they was in them desks. I busted out of start laughing. I'm like, no, he didn't right. put these people in these he little desks. And then Gladiator tried to raise his voice. He's like, you got to raise your hand in here. <laughs> yeah. Professor, you got to raise your hand. Put your yep. foot down, Professor X. He got a Yo, whole chalkboard in space. Episode. He put them in desk. He put them in the desk with the cubby in the, in, de- in the middle. <laughs> yes, he did. So he really can we did. talk about he this impossible choice that he was given, though? Oh, I that know. he was about to take. They were like, uh, Lalandra's sister was like, Hey, you either forget your X Men and all of Earth, or you can go home. Like, that's your choice. The choice is yours. 
And my man was about to really go. (laughs) My man was like, (laughs) I love you. I love you, girl. I'm staying. And then, and then in his little put him in the desk and tell him to shut up moment, he seen the vision of all the X-Men dead. Mm. Ooh, and then Gambit was huge on it. Which further let us know that Gambit is, is out of here. Yeah. Gambit really up out of here. And then he was like, I got to go home, man. My kids need me. My X-Men need me. So my question is, <clears throat> if you had a chance to rule a whole galaxy of people, right? Who, what are you choosing? Are you going back home to save some some X Men that ain't even thought about you in a few months? <laughs> they did think about him. They thought he was dead. I know. They did think he was dead. <laughs> but seriously, though, are are you going home or are you going to your chilling? That ain't really your yeah. children. See, I mean, you see. got you had to. The right choice was that he had to go. I mean, he could have told her in Is a different way. Though? He could have been he like, listen, I don't want to leave, but I got to go right now. But it was in his we galaxy. He was going to control, we can't, though. You're right. We can't add that one to the playlist, though. Uh, no, we can't. Trey Song's in trouble. Trey Song's in trouble. Uh, <laughs> I don't See, know. I, just, I don't know. That's if why I said this. I didn't want to say the person, but yeah. <laughs> no, but I don't know. He's Vince McMahon right now. I don't know. Yeah, I could I could give that up. That's the love of your life. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, they had already spent years apart at this point, and you finally get a chance to be with her, and you like. But Cyclops can't handle business. I gotta go home and handle it. Like mm. I don't know. I think the hardest part of the choice was forgetting all of them. That was the hardest part. Yes. I feel like if he didn't yeah. have to forget them he would have still moved on because at least he could have like I don't know sent some telepathic waves and helped them out or something. Right. Yeah, but he should have been like Gene. He ain't want to forget. Back up my brain real quick. Back up my brain. <laughs> exactly. Real quick in your brain. Exactly. And cuz they finna make me forget y'all. I'm still alive. Don't tell <laughs> nobody else right now. By the way, by the way. <laughs> I'm by still here. BT Dubs, BT Dubs. Back up my brain. <laughs> You can search my brain to find out what's going on, and then I'm gonna call you back. Call me back in three days. This call me back in three days. Is voicemail. Yeah, and then tell me who I am. Just upload me again, and I'll be good. Right. Just there I was think, ways I think around. It comes it. down to it was like no, what, at what cost? At, at what cost was it? You know, because you seen they already trying to change him and try to have him conform to what they want him to be, which is totally against what he's all about. Mm-hmm. Which is why he took him to school and was like, you're telling me to do this, but this is exactly hypocritical of what y'all been trying to do, right? Your your whole society is based on this, which goes into what we were talking about before all of this, is like you trying to make us be you and erase everything that I'm about just to be part of this, you know? I don't know if that's such a big throwaway, you know? You, you said what I was... I'm glad you're here. That's what I'm talking hey. about, Jess. <laughs> In the episode right there. That's it. That Nova King, you got something else? Shit. Yeah, no, that, that's pretty. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm learning from good teachers. I'm learning, I'm learning from good teachers, you know? <laughs> X-Men 97 for the win. Might right, be my favorite right, show right. of 2024. Might just be my favorite show of 2024. I don't know, because the boys ain't come out yet. So, so far, my favorite Ooh, show. And that season... <sighs> Yeah. yeah. Do, I have, a, do I have a favorite show? No. Of this not year? Yet. Not yet. Mine is this that's right a, that's now. That's a contender. Right now. X-Men 97? Right now. X-Men 97 mm-hmm. is probably Right now one. is definitely the top. I mean, I, I like to show them, Do I like stuff but... right now? Ooh. I'm watching okay. a few shows, but I don't know if I have like, oh, that's my favorite one. I don't know. Solo leveling might be it. Only because I'm a gamer. And I'm an RPG gamer, mm-hmm. so all the RPG talk is fun for me. That's I'm like, oh, is. he used that move that I used in Final Fantasy a few years back, but I don't play no more. But still, you that's know, what it I, is. I, I connect to it. I connect. I got I'm not saying it's a better show than X Men. No, what I'm no, 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 no. Not no. saying that. I'm just saying I, I like enjoy the show. I like their intro song. Who solo leveling? Let's get it. It's still not Let's better than. Get it. <laughs> 
Hey, nothing, nothing hey. is killing it. Nothing, nothing is, is killing, killing it. it. Nothing is killing that right now. I'm like Pokemon. Never. Ain't even. There's not too many. There's Ooh. there's not too many intro songs that top X Men intro. Sobby. No. If I have to put an honorable mention, and this is not better than the X Men intro, the original Batman anime series. Okay. Mm. That's that, but that but that's like a one B compared to the because X Men is like you know that. You know what I'm saying? OG Power Rangers and Power Rangers Zio, though. Oh, that's some strong contenders. Well, we went to go see Don't. Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, and that X Men thing kicked in. I yep. stood up. Listen, mm-hmm. I didn't stand up. I was mm-hmm. in the theater. I wasn't going to stand up. You when you hear that. But I was yanking back. I was yanking back. That. 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 that was, that was, I got hyped for that moment. That, I got hyped when they said Miss Marvel was a mutant. And then they hit mm-hmm. it, and then mm-hmm. I also got hype in Transformers. Anytime I hear, or yeah, <laughs> oh, the, the yeah, <laughs> anytime I hear it, I'm like, oh, they did the thing. Okay, here's another. Yeah. Here, I have two, I have two, right? What about the original Ninja Turtles theme song? Oh, <laughs> that's good, but it, it's it, I point. still think X Men goes over it. Um, but Ghostbusters is another honorable mention, I feel. Ghostbusters is pretty high though. You know, because they top fifty, because they use the same song all throughout the merchandise. They never changed it. It was always, yeah. you know, that same thing. But mm. the Power Rangers is definitely up there for sure. I don't know, man. Power Rangers is pretty high, especially when that I, guitar riff come in. Come on, go, go, guitar- Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power. Yeah, it, the, yeah. The, the riff, the guitar riff is is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the guitar riff is amazing. Like whoever <laughs> did that was on point. When they put that in the movie, I lost. Yeah. It. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I I think if I'm not mistaken, the same guy that did the Power Rangers theme song also did the Ace Man theme song. Really? Really? I do believe so. Really? I, okay. I, I think I'm okay, pulling some okay. memories on that one, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct. Yeah, I got to Google it. We got to end this episode though. Any anything else? Anybody got anything to add? No. This is really this is amazing. Just great. thank you so much for coming by tonight, today. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate you y'all. Away, appreciate you. Give away the time. The conversation the time. was so good. We hit straight up two hours of recording, y'all. We, we have It's so much this stuff in this episode. For real. It's so much stuff in this episode. I'm going to have to cut some and be sad about it. But be on the lookout <laughs> for part one and two of this one because there's no way I could just cut everything out. Um, mm-hmm. Let them know where they can find you all right well again i want to say thank you again for letting me come on and let me get educated from y'all i really thank appreciate you for this this is one of my favorite shows to, to listen to and to watch um like but fun. you can find me at the get your podcast on the twitter get your podcast on instagram i'm also featured on marks and mics on fridays um i got two episodes out one talking about wrestlemania 40 and one just talking about the week of wrestling. Um, we also did a sweaty session with me, Kyle from the Apron Rump. Check him out too, and my homie Charlie. We did a, a wrestling uh, wedding proposal. You know, using their gimmicks to uh, see how they propose in wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Yo, y'all are mad creative with this wrestling content. <laughs> like that's so cool. Y'all like expanding beyond just who slammed who the hardest. And I did. Yeah, that. thank you. Hey, we, that's very what we cool. trying to do. You know. So, but appreciate that. Again. Get your just thank you for coming through. Make sure y'all listen to get your podcast. Go go listen to it. While you at it, check out Power Bomb Jitsu. Shout out and make sure you check out Mars with Mics as well. Please and don't like forget to like, share, and subscribe to this one right here. Nova Kane. Don't forget to cite your sources, people. Absolutely. I have been instructor BK. I'm instructor Nova Kane. And over there is instructor. No, you you say it. Go ahead. Do your thing. Instructor, semi student, just. <laughs> he's the teacher's assistant he's a, today. He's the, the teacher's assistant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to clean up after y'all leave. I'm going to clean up after y'all leave. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, make sure you, you, you know, you turn the chairs over. Yeah, get Thank you guys over. for listening to the show. We had a blast today. Make sure you go check out everything we told y'all to go check out. Go do your homework. Watch X-Men 97. We about this thing. Thank you for listening.